Namaste. How's it going? How does samadhi look like? And what are the things we experience or witness as we go through it? Really nothing. It's void. It's blank. It's black. What I see externally are distractions. When we're able to fix our eyes at a certain point, for example, and then keep you know, looking passively without judging, just allow your eyes to drift. Yeah. Looking at that particular object in front of you, and then the images you see will dissolve, and the mental awareness suspends. That's similar to samadhi. Yeah. When the brain, and the centers, the active centers, yeah, they back off because the dormant centers take over. Yeah. Your mind will go into this deep abyss where all you can see at first, as you go deep into that realm, you see the cosmos, yeah, colorful, yeah. like you see the galaxy. <laughs> and right in the very middle of the galaxy, you plunge into that galaxy, that hole, the black hole, and then deep inside, that one is just a void. And the place is actually inside the heart. The, the initial stages of samadhi is quite euphoric because your your energetic system yeah, takes control. Yeah, and then it could be wild. And as you practice, you'll be able to gain control until you can hold it longer. Yeah. And after the euphoric experience, because as you plunge in that abyss, you will experience many things. And then yeah, you go back inside the heart. And inside the heart, yeah, and I've mentioned this many times. There's nothing there but black, and it's so still, everything stops. But you can see inside, and in the image, it's pitch black. And then all you can hear is the Om. never ending right. yeah we all come from that dimension yeah that's why we're so attracted to the unknown <laughs> we know that there's unknown but we cannot prove it because you know we've never been there in this mortal existence but really yeah we all come from that void yeah we all yeah come from that sound mm. That was our realm before we become like human beings, creation. And our cells, I think our cells, they have memory. <laughs> they retain that information. That's why yeah, randomly it happens. And then the subconscious is so attracted to that realm of the unknown because we know it exists. And yes, it exists. And that yeah, realm of the unknown is actually the dwelling of our God, you know, our divine spiritual nature, which is, which is pure. Yeah, it's just sitting there, yeah, dormant, yeah, nothing until, yeah, the sound stimulates it. And then we go out of the void, yeah, and then we become, yeah, this, yeah, we become the images and we become the external world yeah and then yeah at the end of it yeah after this mortal existence yeah we go back yeah. until yeah we are able to i say break free yeah from the many karmas of the many lifetimes and then yeah, we settle there yeah at the end of it yeah and not anymore I say capable of coming back <laughs> because we've attained the union already. <laughs>